Hey guys, how's it going? It is Ryan and I'm here in the eBay room and this is gonna be a normal uh, what sold video. I wanna mention before we get into this video real quick, we usually do a live show on Friday nights. Um, for the past few weeks, we haven't actually. We've been kind of taking a little time off. But this week, we are actually going to be doing a live show. We're gonna be doing something called Balloon Bucks. A lot of people like to play it. It's basically a game show, a live game show where you can win cash money into your PayPal account. And um, if you wanna know more about it, you'll have to tune in on Friday. But instead of doing it on this channel this week, we're actually gonna be doing it over on our second channel called Crazy Dreamers. Um, I'm gonna put a link to that channel somewhere on the screen. It'll be popped up right now. And all you gotta do is click on that, go subscribe, turn on the bell notifications so that when we go live, you know that we're live and you don't miss out. But it will be Friday night at 7 p.m. Eastern time is when we always go live. So definitely go check that out. Go check out the channel. We post all kinds of fun, random stuff on there. That is where we will be live this Friday night. So don't miss it. Anyway, let's get into the video. All right, everybody, it's Saturday, and we have a few things to ship out this morning before we head out to garage sales. If you're new to the channel, uh, me and my wife, Pam, we resell um, stuff we pick up at garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores, local deals, and stuff like that on eBay for a profit. And we do it here part-time out of our little office. And we have five things to ship out, so we need to pull some of those things. So the first thing that sold was actually a college textbook and it's this right here Ugh. I actually sold this uh, for my mom uh, she had this college textbook I think it was for my sister for college um, from last year and she's not using it so she wanted me to sell it so I listed it and it didn't really move because it's it, I think it's an older model and we had an offer come through for $25 plus shipping so we just took it Next we sold this, uh, excuse the mess guys, it's still really messy over here. <laughs> we just actually listed this the other day. Actually yesterday I think I listed this thing. It's a Mark McGuire commemorative headliners action figure. It's pretty cool. Um, we sold it. They're not worth very much money, unfortunately. Um, when I picked this up I figured that that figure might be worth a little more money, but a lot of the headliner stuff they make little mini action figs too. Um, a lot of that sports stuff, just really the value isn't there for whatever reason. Um, but we did end up selling this and it sold, sold very quickly, probably because I priced it well. Um, but it sold for $4.90 plus shipping. So um, we picked that up in a huge lot of stuff um, in a local deal. Next we sold a lamp and Pam's gonna be really excited about this, this sale here. Um, it's right here. As you guys remember, we picked this up at a garage sale and Pam was mad at me that I picked it up. <laughs> she wasn't mad at me, but she was like, why would you buy that? That thing is so ugly. But I mean, I saw the potential in it. It was $3. It works great. It's really kind of cool. It's, it's a vintage lamp. I don't know much about it. I forget the brand on it. I put it all on the listing anyway. But I listed it for $39.99 and it actually sold for that. But Kind of a funny story. I sent an offer to a watcher. I think it was like for 35 bucks. And then um, whoever the watcher was ended up messaging us and was like, hey, um, I see your offer and I'd, I'd be glad to pay, pay that, but it won't let me accept the offer for whatever reason. I don't know, maybe they just didn't know how to do it. Um, at first I just, I didn't really answer them because I was like, eh, maybe they'll figure it out. And then they sent another message. So I was like, you know what, I'll, I'll answer them. And I went to look into the listing, and because I sent an offer out, eBay locked my ability to change the price of things for that listing. So I was just gonna drop the price to 35 bucks and tell her, look, I, I changed the price, go ahead and buy it. But I couldn't do that for whatever reason, eBay had it locked. So I messaged her, I was like, hey, if you just buy it for full price, um, I will, I'll just refund you the difference. I'll refund you the $5. So that's what she did. She seems really, really nice and, um, she was really excited to get her lamp, which is really cool. I'm not sure if she's a viewer or not, but uh, she's a really, really, really nice eBay uh, buyer for sure. So I didn't have a problem doing that for her. Anyway, so $35 plus shipping away on that. Picked it up for three bucks, so awesome sale. 
Then another thing we just listed that we haven't inventoried yet, it's just sitting here on the floor, is this uh, copy of an anagrams. We picked this up for 50 cents. I think it was last week we grabbed it. Listed it yesterday for $4.99 plus shipping, and it sold. And finally, we sold something pretty cool. It's this Pokemon clock. Ugh. Put it over here nice and carefully. This Pokemon clock, uh, this is actually, um, I had a viewer tell us that this is originally just a picture, just a wooden picture, Pokemon picture, and somebody got a clock kit and made a cool clock out of it. So that's the story there. Um, it was not originally a clock, which is kind of neat, but it's from, is there a date on this? Yeah, it's from 1999. So like, I think it's an officially licensed uh, Nintendo picture from 1999, and uh, we ended up selling it for $19.99 <laughs> plus shipping. We picked it up at a garage sale for like next to nothing. We got it in a big lot of stuff. So pretty cool. All right, everybody. So we're home from garage sales. And while we were out and about, we decided to send a bunch of different offers to watchers on a bunch of different items. And something pretty crazy happened. And within about like five minutes, our phone started like blowing up with sales. And we were like, oh my goodness. It was like one item after another. And every item was something that I had just sent an offer to watchers for. And I think it was like seven items. And it actually ended up being a viewer. So I have a lot of things to pull for this viewer. So I'm going to pull it and set it all here on the table and show you what they bought. All right, so I pulled everything here. Um, Andy, Andy is the one. Pam helped, yes. I helped a lot. <laughs> Andy is the one who purchased all this stuff. So An Andy, thank you so much uh, for your purchase. This is crazy. This is definitely the biggest viewer sale we've ever had. Um, this order was well over $100. And Andy, we're gonna try to save some money on shipping for you because I know you paid shipping on each and every item. And we'll try to combine shipping and then refund you the difference. But Andy bought How the Grinch Stole Christmas, VHS. He bought an Apple keyboard. He bought this little film camera. He bought this belt buckle. I think this belt buckle is really cool. He bought this little tin. This Oreo. Is it Oreo? It's Oreo. Oreo tin. And then he bought this action figure, this cool Spider-Man action figure. And then he bought this Sony DVD VHS combo unit recorder. So that is crazy, what a buy. So Andy, you really didn't have to do that, but that is crazy. Thank you so much for, for your purchase and for your support. We really appreciate it, right? Yes, thank you so much, Andy. And we've also sold a few other things today. Um, some of them being well, not viewer sales, I guess. Uh, we sold this Schlitz sign. We picked this up at a garage sale. It's actually a really, really cool sign. We picked it up at a garage sale for, I think it was like $10 we got it for. And we sold it for uh, $35 plus shipping. So good sale there, glad to get that out. All right, the next sale actually is a viewer sale and uh, this is a little bit embarrassing, but we're gonna tell you guys what happened. So a viewer bought three Call of Duty games. They're PS3 games off us. For, I think it was like seven dollars plus shipping and I went to pull them and unfortunately we don't have two of the copies <laughs> so um, there was three Call of Duty games and I completely forgot that they were listed as a separate bundle and last week we had somebody buy a lot of PS3 games and I threw a couple extra games in there for the buyer just to be nice and uh, it happened to be another listing so I still have one of them I still have one Call of Duty Black Ops, and then the other one that was in the original listing that I gave away to another buyer, not thinking, um, was Call of Duty Ghosts and Call of Duty World at War. The person that bought this was a viewer, Melinda. So Melinda, we are very sorry for this. Um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to send you this game for free, and we'll refund you all your money. So. Um, I'd like to say something. Yes. Melinda. I had nothing to do with it, but I do apologize because <laughs> apparently he's my husband now and his mistake is my mistake. So I'm just going to own it like a champ wife that I am and be like, I know, right? <laughs> so yeah, so Melinda, sorry about that. We'll still send you this one game for free. Thank you for the support of the channel and for the purchase. Um, sorry that got screwed up.
And the last thing we sold was right down here. This was a great sale. Great sale. If you guys ever come across these things, definitely pick them up. It's a Tascam MF-P01. Uh, it's a little cassette mixer recorder. And it's in good condition. Uh, we've had this for not very long, actually. We got it for free, believe it or not. Got it for free. And it's sold today, unit only, sold today for $130 plus shipping. It's actually going GSP, it's going overseas somewhere. So pretty cool, definitely a good sale. Keep an eye out for those things. Hey everybody, it is now Monday night and we need to ship some things that sold um, last night and also today. Um, we have, a f I think we have like four things to ship, which isn't too bad. Uh, sales this weekend were great. Today they dropped off, they've dropped off a little bit. Um, but actually something kind of interesting that Pam and I have started to do to kind of use time management better or like manage our time better as far as you know doing ebay part-time on top of our full-time jobs is in the morning i usually leave for work before pam i'm out the door before six o'clock usually like 5 45 and so i don't have a whole lot of time in the morning to do stuff but pam actually she doesn't leave the house probably at least another hour after i do so she's got like a little bit of extra time in the morning to do stuff so what we've been doing is she's been coming in here and taking photos of items that we have to list uh, on eBay and sending them as drafts. And then during the day when I have free time, because I have free time during the day every once in a while, um, I will actually go in to the drafts on our eBay um, and I will you know, set the price and the descriptions and all the condition notes and everything in the actual listing. Um, of all the drafts she made that morning. So that allows us to get some listings done during the day when we're not even here. And then at night when we're here, we can use the time to ship and stuff like that. So it's been working out so far uh, and I really enjoy, I really like how, how it's going. So that's how we've been managing our time and managing our reselling business um, on a part-time basis while still you know doing our full-time jobs. So it's been working out great, but I just thought I would share that with you guys. But anyway, let's get to what sold. Uh, the first thing I already pulled here, I actually just listed this recently. It's this little uh, Mickey Mouse snow globe. We picked this up at a garage sale for like 50 cents. And actually a good friend of the channel purchased this, um, Anthony from Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, he has his own YouTube channel called Pittsburgh. He's from Pittsburgh and he's a picker <laughs> and he resells on eBay and documents his journey and all his reselling endeavors. He's been a great friend of our channel for a long time. I think he was one of our probably first hundred subscribers from way back when. And uh, we actually recently met him for dinner uh, a couple weeks ago, I believe it was. And he gave us this gift right here when we saw him. He gave us these vintage New Hampshire license plates because we're from New Hampshire. And he actually found these in Pittsburgh at a yard sale and he bought them for us, which was super, super nice of him. So thank you, Anthony, once again, for not only your purchase, but for being a great friend and also giving us these. We still need to hang these up in our room. Um, that's probably on the agenda for this week, actually. We're gonna try to decorate our walls, make our room look more eye appealing. Um, I've had a lot of people ask about this. This picture's been sitting here on the floor for a while, this Kurt Cobain picture. I've had a lot of people ask if it's for sale and um, it's not for sale. I'm actually gonna put it up in here um, probably above my desk. I'll probably put it in here. Uh, I, th I just think it's a really awesome picture. And actually, my sister's boyfriend, Buddy, actually gave me that picture uh, about a month or two ago. So I thought it was really cool and I'm keeping it for myself. So sorry guys, not for sale. But anyway, once again, Anthony, thank you so much for, uh, for your purchase. And I think you said you got this for your wife. So I hope Ashley enjoys it. Then we sold this right here. This John Deere little skid steer loader toy. It is die cast and it's made by Ertl, which is a great brand. And I think that's how you pronounce it. It's E-T-R, no, not E-T-R. It's E-R, E-R-T-L, yeah. Ertl, I guess is how you pronounce it. But um, I'm not sure if these are vintage. I don't see a date on them, but we got them in a big lot of stuff from Joe. You guys probably saw that. 
in the video. We've had these. We have this one, and then we have a tractor right there. And we sold this one last night for uh, $15.99 plus shipping. So definitely a good sale there for this little guy. Then we sold uh, this Chia Pet down here. Let me get over here. Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 2, Groot. Chia Pet. And this Chia Pet is actually expired, um, if you guys don't know. Um, it's especially something to be looking out for when you do find these. Um, on the bottom, it has an expiration date. And it says sell by July of 2018. So this is actually um, a year past its sell by date, which is okay. I made to I made sure to include that in the listing and you know mention that the seeds are expired. But uh, it sold anyway. We got it at a garage sale for two bucks, and it sold for sixteen ninety nine plus shipping. Then finally, we sold this little microscope here. I can uh, I'll pull it out for you so you guys can see. It's a stellar high quality microscope. It's cool. We picked it up at a garage sale. They're not worth a whole lot of money. I think we got it pretty recently. We, I think I think we paid like three bucks for it or something like that. And uh, it sold today, I believe it was. Yeah, it sold today for um, $12.99 plus shipping. All right guys, so we're outside now and I wanna show you guys something real quick um, that I've had a lot of questions about. Uh, here's my dog. She's chasing after me. And here's Pam. <laughs> I'm not chasing you. I already got that. Um, I've actually had a lot of questions about my truck here, and a lot of people just kind of want to see more of it. So I'll show you guys real quick. Um, I do want to take it out. I have not even had it on the road this year. I just never registered it. It's been so busy. I never registered it this year. Um, and it needs a battery because <laughs> I tried to start it a month or two ago and I couldn't even jump it. So it needs a battery, but uh, it is roadworthy and everything. I just never, I never put it on the road this year. Anyway, so this is the truck here. Um, I bought it pretty much as it sits. Um, I put quite a bit into it, mostly in the interior. I've got, I put new tires on it. These tires are brand new. I put those on last year. Um, I did a lot of work as far as the brakes go. I switched over. If anybody out there knows anything about cars, um, these were originally drum brakes in the back and disc brakes in the front. Um, this is kind of nerd talk, <laughs> but uh, I ended up converting my back brakes to disc brakes and getting rid of the drums. It's a lot lighter. It makes the truck a lot lighter and it also um, improves stopping ability, which is nice. Anyway, so I did that and then I did a lot of work to the interior. The interior was shot in this thing and it's still not great, um, but it was completely shot. I, comp I put in a brand new dash, I put in uh, tachometer because it didn't have a tachometer at all. It just had a big fuel gauge. I switched the fuel gauge uh, That was right here to a tachometer and I put the fuel gauge over here and I put a seat cover to make it look a little better um, What else did I do? I did some little things. Uh, it still needs carpeting and the flooring and The seat belts have to be put into it and everything but in New Hampshire you don't need seat belts to have it on the road uh, What else? Oh, I put a headliner in there and it did all kinds of little things to the mostly the interior. I put a new steering column too. And I did it all myself, <laughs> believe it or not. And I'm not a mechanic. So I actually learned most of how to do this stuff on YouTube. So it's been a lot of fun. Uh, it was my project last year. I just haven't had time to really do much on it. This year, I have a brand new motor to put in it too. So anyway, that's the truck. It's a 1985 Chevy K10 single cab short bed. And it's lifted six inches with 35 inch tires. So people requested to see more of it. So that's a little bit of the overview of the truck. I figured I would uh, throw this in the end of the video if anybody's interested. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we will see you soon. And uh, also remember to go check out our second channel. We'll be doing a live show there uh, tomorrow. So bye everybody. Bye. <laughs>